Hello, potato. Today we're going to roll the dice with some blind boxes. Yes, we have Little Big Bites Series 2 from For Real. Now, I haven't followed the For Real company very well, but to me, For Real is the people that make those uh, kind of Furby like animals, cats and horses and dinosaurs and stuff. So I have no idea what is going to be in here other than I guess something that's going to try to bite me and that there are 24 of them to collect and that apparently they were popular enough to get a second series but not popular enough for that second series to not end up in the discount store for $1.99 so each pack is supposed to include one dare box one figure and a keychain with themed accessory. So I wonder if these are going to be little actual little clip-on animals that can go on your backpack or school bag. See all figures available at... No, see all available figures at forreal.com. Ask a parent first. Oh. Dare to unbox the bite. It's not a question, it's a command. So I guess, being this command, we'd better follow it. Is there anything else on here? There's no story or anything? So, you know, sometimes these things have stories on them. The story of this one is made in China. And it's not for children under three. It's for children ages four and up. So it's really not for children under four. All right, well, let's pop one of these open and then see what they are. See if I have to go to the doctor for, uh, for animal bites. All right. So that's like two levels of adventure there. And then, does this just slide off? Yep, it does. I see teeth. You see teeth? I see teeth. So there. I thought maybe there'd be some trick like making it pop up or something, because, you know, the box kind of shows it popping out and biting you. Did you stick your finger in the hole, maybe? Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, see, there you go. You stick your finger in the hole and it bites you, because it's got a little little trigger in its mouth there. So you stick your finger in, it chomps down. And I appear to have a pterodactyl. It's got wings. I kind of thought some sort of weird shark at first, but I'm guessing it's a pterodon of some sort. Oh, we have more stuff down here. Is that like a stand for him? I guess it's just a stand for him in the box. It's not, it's not a display stand. And then the blind part is our themed accessory, which for him is a fish. I guess, see, it's not that sensitive. I think the idea is supposed to be that you like put it down there and, and it bites onto it and now you have a clip on, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I would, you know, you catch something and that's just going to pop right off. I mean, it did, it did stay pretty good. It's not the most loose thing in the world, but I don't know. I mean, I, I would not be surprised if you stuck that on your, on your bag. By the time you got back home, you didn't have it anymore. All right. Well, those are, that's a little underwhelmed. There's a book, there's a booklet. Maybe that'll show us what they all are. We don't have to go to the website with a parent's permission. Oh, they're all pretty samey, aren't they? Do they have names? This one's called Prehistoria. I guess a series. This is from a series called Prehistoria. So most of them are special mystery ones. Except for Town and Country. And way far away. There's dragons. Oh, there's a gnome under Myths and Legends. And I guess it's supposed to be Bigfoot then? I mean... They're not... They're not hideous. Yeah, there's the instructions. The instructions that you can't read until you've actually opened one. That would have been nice to put on the outside of the box. Well... That's a little underwhelming, but let's do the second one. See what they're like. I guess I can see maybe why this didn't catch on super well. Which of course makes me wonder about how Series 1 did well enough to generate a Series 2. 
if Series 2 is this underwhelming. Okay, well, since we've got something different here, I'm kind of hoping for the gnome. I'll be honest with you. The gnome seems like the most interesting one. All right, let's do it. And I got a pink monkey. Is the pink monkey anything in particular? No. Nope. Well, the pink monkey is not shown on here, so I guess that means it's one of the rare ones. But out of which set? Oh, no, it's not rare. It's the one there from Hot Spots. So, nope, no rare ones for us today. What is his accessory? We never get the rare ones on here, do we? His accessory is... a heart. I would have expected a monkey. A monkey? I would have expected a banana. Oh, well, let's just do it that way. Yeah, that's a, that looks like a heart-shaped box of candy, maybe? Is he supposed to be a love monkey? Okay. Well, see, he doesn't bite on the cord as, as well as our, as our prehistoric friend here did. Oh, look, the bodies turn for no particular reason. Sammy, let's look at these guys just kind of on their own here. I, I don't think there's too much to that. I mean, it's... You really couldn't put those on a shelf because they would just look stupid. And I wouldn't clip them onto a bag because I would think they'd get... Well, well, one, it would look stupid. And, and two, I would, wouldn't want them to get lost if I cared enough that I wanted to, you know, display them on my, my person as I walked around. So, yeah, I guess I can kind of see why Little Big Bites may not be getting a Series 3. And so it's for real the ones that make those fingerling things, the ones that like grip on your hands and bite in your hands as well. Is that a for real thing as well? Because that would, that would, these aesthetically look like those. So, I mean, that would, that would make a certain amount of sense if that was the situation. And these are just kind of meant to be for the people who can't afford to get the kids the real proper fingerlings. I don't know. I, I, I definitely wouldn't be going back for any more of these. I wouldn't even say these are as, as good as those little pocket racer things. The tuners z -z 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 cars that we did a few weeks ago. Yeah, those are better than this. I mean, again, this this is something you put like into a, a birthday party goodie bag. But I mean, I wouldn't... I don't know that I'd buy them for anybody I actually liked. Oh well. Now we know what they are. And we can move forward with that knowledge and never buy them again. I do hope you found this at all interesting. If you did, please give the video a like and make sure you share it with your friends and your enemies and that weird aunt who makes everything political. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.